everybody. What's the good word? Bubble. That's the word. I am so excited to be in this thing again, live tonight with all of you. It's been a minute since we had a full game together, and if you're new to the family, this is amazing. Here is how to become an official word nerd champ. Oh, you're gonna spin a wheel, it'll land on a letter. If you have a super spin, then it's gonna get better. I'll show you a hint and a puzzle to solve. Use the keyboard to tap all the letters involved. If you guess a wrong letter, then you're gonna see a strike. If you use them all up, then you're out for the night. But don't you worry, you can level up too, and then you'll gain a strike. That'll come in handy for you. Oh, as amazing as it is, it's time to turn off Beyonce's new song from The Lion King. Find a quiet, comfortable spot to play this game, because for the next 15 minutes, we're going To my favorite people, the word nerds of the HQ Knit. It is an exciting Thursday night, okay? We've got a lot going on. It's Nelson Mandela's birthday. Happy birthday to a legend. The new Lion King movie comes out tonight slash tomorrow, finally, right? And we have a great game of HQ words. What more could you need? Oh. A queen? Is that what you said? You need a queen? Oh, what a coincidence. I am your host, the queen of letters, fan of Beyonce, other queen, she's another queen, Anna Roisman. You can find me right here, baby, all over social media where I like to live when I am not here on your phone with you. Did you just play the Lion King trivia game? How much fun was that? Our game tonight, it's a palate cleanser, okay? It's a little throwback Thursday of a regular fun words game. No theme, no felines here tonight that I'm aware of, but you never know. Tonight I will also show you 12 puzzles. When you make it to the end of the road, you will win some of the prize, which is $2,000. You can go buy tickets to see a movie with that money, right? Any movie. I don't know what I'm seeing. I don't know what, what's coming out. I do know it's coming out. You better go see that movie. Also, you start tonight's game with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on HQ. And guess what? To help me spin the wheel tonight, I brought a little friend. He's gonna look like him right now because it is time to spin the wheel around Bobby Flay's face. Oh, oh, in one second. First, you gotta follow him on, on social media, obviously. And now let's try that one more time. It is time to spin the wheel around Bobby's face. Here we go. It's the circle of words helps you solve them all through letters and hints for all 12 puzzles. Till we finally win with some of the prize money. He hates when I sing. Do you? You don't. I hope you don't. Oh, guess what? Bobby Flay, that was wonderful. You're a natural. He's a natural, Simba. It is time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. Are you ready for this game? I'm so ready. I'm so happy. Here we go with puzzle one. Your first hint is very big mammal. Type in the letters R, B, and O. We're not talking about a small mammal, like my toy poodle who you just met. We're talking about a very big one, a white one too. Ooh, what a hint. One that got a job representing an entire soda company for a very long time. Is it cold where you are? Because guess what? I can tell you one other thing. This very big mammal loves the cold weather. Loves it. Can't handle the summer. I'm talking about a polar bear, of course. A polar bear. I always think of the Coca-Cola polar bear. That's why I said it. 84,114. You're not cold like a polar bear. You're still hot in this game because you got it right and you're moving on to puzzle two. Okay, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a huge sneaker head. I have a collection of sneakers. I bond with Matt Richards over sneakers all the time. So I hope you know this popular sneaker. This sneaker was originally created for a former basketball player. But the sneakers become one of the most well-known shoes around. The first ones, they came out in 1984. 
but they're still kicking it today. Hey, got any dad jokes? Why, yes, I do. What is the popular sneaker I'm talking about? Why, of course, it's an Air Jordan. Air Jordan, check it out. Ooh, there he is. Michael Jordan, ready to dunk, wearing the Jordans. They were originally made for Michael Jordan, but you know what? They were so popular, everyone got them. Everyone wears Jordans. 81,221, you solved the puzzle. You're on your way to buying your very own pair of Air Jordans, right? You're gonna look so fly in them. Hey, speaking of fly, right? Fly sneakers, flying places. I'm thinking we should go away to a colorful vacation spot. I got it. I mean, somewhere warm, where we can sip daiquiris and cool off in the water. Now let me tell you, this colorful vacation spot, it's a very rare spot. But there are certain islands that you will find this at. To be specific, I'm talking about you might find this in the Bahamas or in Bermuda. The answer is Pink Sand Beach. Let's take a moment to go away. Ooh, yes, all we need is a, a float and a lovely, you know, daiquiri in hand and we're going to Bermuda. All of us, Pink Sand Beach is 30,161. You solved the puzzle, 51,095. You just got scooed out of the puzzle. Ooh, we haven't done one of those in a while. I'm sad to see you go away on that school bus, but hopefully it's taking you to a beach somewhere, okay? It's summer, it's gotta take you to the beach, right? That's what happens when you're not in school. I don't know about you, but I am not a morning person. I'm not. That is why I am here with you at 9.30 p.m. because I love the evening. If you're like me, are you familiar with this nighttime behavior? This nighttime behavior, let me tell you, it's something that I'd say is more popular among animals than humans. Wait a minute, we are animals, humans are animals. Mm, but our behavior at night is very different from say, another kind of animal, like, I don't know, a dog, or maybe a wolf. What is the nighttime behavior I'm looking for? The answer is howl at the moon. That was like a low key, howl at the moon. 28,625 got it right, 3,900 eliminated. And if you guys remember from earlier this evening on Twitter, that was your hint. That was the hint puzzle that we gave you, howl at the moon. If your dog howls at the moon, send me a video. I would love to see it. The only time you're gonna find me howling at anything like a dog is when I'm hungry for something good. Ooh, puzzle five is a real treat tonight because it's a summery dessert. Mm. I'll say this, it can be considered healthy in my book because fruit is an ingredient in it and fruit is healthy. There you go. It is refreshing. It's very easy to make. I doubt anyone will be disappointed if you serve them this summery dessert after a barbecue. I might even come over, because the answer is strawberries and cream. Mmm, strawberries and cream, 26,909. You got it right, you creamed it. You got it, 1,900 eliminated. And if you don't do cream, if you don't do dairy, you know what, throw a little coconut whip on there, right? Strawberries and coconut whip. Sounds delicious. I'll eat either of them. Now I'm starving. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you ever just so hungry that you will eat anything, even if it's pretty random? Because your hint is unconventional meal. It's not necessarily the first thing you would think of for this meal. But if it's all that's around, why not? Sometimes eating is out of necessity convenience you know I'm not gonna lie my mom won't be proud but I have had gummy candy for breakfast on numerous occasions the answer I am looking for is cereal for dinner cereal for dinner you know what it's not that weird 25,896 you got it right 1125 eliminated cereal for dinner it was like cereal or pizza that's like my college you know, diet, that literally was. And I wanna know in the chat, 
What is your favorite cereal? I want to see it in the chat right now. Type in your favorite cereal. Do you have a favorite cereal? If someone doesn't put Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs, come on, that's my favorite cereal. I like all the sweet ones with marshmallows. I really have a sweet tooth. Because I'm hopped up on sugar. Are you hopped up on sugar yet? Come on. I'm really pumped up because I'm really... I hope you win this thing. You may be playing from all over the place, but we are unified by this very game. Tell me this stately slogan. Is this a stately slogan from where you're playing from? Could be. Are you familiar with any of the stately slogans? Some are really fun. You might see these on road signs. Or if it's some place that you fly to, maybe they have this up in the airport when you arrive. The answer is, don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with Texas. I turned into a Texan when I said it. 22,054. You didn't mess around. You got it right. 3,910 eliminated. I don't mess with Texas. I don't, but I, I will mess with the, uh, the barbecue. I hear the barbecue is worth messing with in Texas. And the polls are in, the votes are in, Lucky Charms and Captain Crunch. Okay, I love that Lucky Charms made it in because you picked the marshmallow cereals. You did it, those are the favorite cereals of tonight. All right, guess we're not in cereal land, we're not in Texas anymore, we're in puzzle Eight, and it's looking great. A game within a game, so tell me this classic game. Should I say game one more time? Classic game, that's your hint. You got it, you get it, you love it? If you're competitive, if you have great coordination skills, you're probably good at this game and the one you're typing on right now. It's true. But let me tell you, this classic game, you need very specific equipment for it. It's tough. This classic game, I'm not very good at it. The answer is billiards, solids, and stripes, also known as pool, right? When you play billiards, solids, and stripes, 13,755 solve the puzzle, 8,700 eliminated, but you could still come back into the game. You could still save yourself. You can't necessarily save yourself, though, in billiards if you sink the eight ball. I hope you didn't sink the eight ball, did you? I really hope not, because I was just going to ask you if you could possibly give me some sound advice. Hmm. I could use some. Tell me how to live my life. <laughs> sound advice. Do you even have your sound on right now? Can you hear me? If I start rocking out, are you gonna are you gonna know? Oh, it's gonna get loud when you win this thing. It really is. And let me tell you, this sound advice reminds me of a lyric to a song. Because the answer is pump up the jams. You wanna hear the song? Here you go. Oh, if that doesn't pump you up, I don't know what could. One of the best, pump up the jams, pump it up. How many people got it right? 10,209, you did it. You pumped it up and it, it pays off. 5,208 eliminated on that one. You could still pump yourself up. You could still buy back into the game. It could happen for you. In this jam, we're pumping. I'd like to see more pumping. I'm pumped up to see if you get this next answer because it's a little wild. Your hint is legal action. Legal action. Any lawyers playing tonight? Congratulations. Any non-lawyers? You can do this too. But let me preface with, you, this could be dangerous, okay? It is not very common. I believe in if you see something, say something, but you could take legal action yourself and make a citizen's arrest. That is the answer, make a citizen's arrest. Sounds dangerous, you know what? If there's an issue, I'm gonna call an authority, right? Make sure you call the police. 10,288, you got it right. 1,063 eliminated on make a citizen's arrest. One time, let me tell you this, I heard about a citizen's arrest during this creative news recap. Creative news recap. This is pretty popular. It has been for a while now. It's a great way to make light of some heavy news. And I know a lot of people don't have it anymore, but if you still watch TV, 
You probably see this often because it happens like, I don't know, almost every day. I love this one. Creative news recap. I'm talking about late night monologue jokes. Take it away, Jimmy. Please send help. So. That was a really funny joke. I only gave you the, the punch. I only let you hear the punchline, but it had a really nice setup. Late night monologue jokes. I love Jimmy Kimmel. You know, he once hosted HQ. 7,769 solved the puzzle. 2,815 are out on late night monologue jokes. It got a little too late night for you. And I just want to thank you, everybody, for being here. And welcome to The Final Puzzle with Anna Roisman. This is my very own late night show. Hey, hey. We call it late night of the fi late final puzzle. It is late tonight, a little bit. <laughs> In today's news, a lot of word aficionados played HQ words. You heard about this, right? You heard about this? You make money on your phone and you don't even have to get out of your bed. <laughs> All right, back to real life now that the late night show has ended. Your final hint of tonight's game is modern happening. And I don't mean my outfit, modern happening, <laughs> but thank you. All right, these are some pretty modern. Anyway, this is something you would see at an event. Maybe if you're traveling. This is, it's only around for a very specific period of time. And this modern happening, I'd say you probably will find it in a museum. The final answer in tonight's game is multimedia art X. Exhibition, multimedia art exhibition, right? You would see that in a museum. But you know what? We've got 6,816 winners in tonight's game. Let's give you a little multimedia art. Ready? Boom! Oh, I love it. You did it. Congratulations, 6,816. That's a great number. Honestly, how much are you taking home tonight? What are you bringing home? What does it look like? What could you buy some Air Jordan? 30 cents! 30 cents, baby! That's a great number! I love when it's even and clean. That puzzle guy coming in hot and Right now sense for all of you, for everyone who just won HQ Words. That is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate all of the winners. You did it. You nailed. You're taking home a piece of the cake. Go celebrate, though, with some strawberries and cream. Okay, I don't know. Maybe tweet at Jimmy Kimmel. Tell him, tell him you won. Maybe he'll say a monologue joke based on your winnings tonight. I'm honestly thinking we should go buy until I see it. So stay tuned on social media for my own rendition. HQ Words will be back Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, right after trivia. So I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Go read a good book, Google some new words, come back smarter than before. I love you so much, word nerds. Hakuna Matata and good night.